The Outward Gods, what they are, is somewhat ambiguous, but at the very core, they are the forces of nature, both natural and philosophical. They are the embodiments of all processes of life, death, order and chaos. They are fire and ice, love and hate, and each of these embodiments tries to impose itself on the universe. In Elden Ring, they are referred to as the Outer Gods. The main Outer God you will encounter in the Lands Between is the Greater Will. It is said that long ago, the Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast into the Lands Between, which would later become the Elden Ring. Now it seems that the Outer Gods, while powerful, can't directly influence the world. They need a physical entity to do this on a physical plane. This is what the Elden Beast is. The physical embodiment of the Greater Will itself, creator of the Elden Ring, the Erd Tree, as we see it, and the Golden Order. The Greater Will also has other physical embodiments to impose itself upon the Lands Between. Queen Marika, the vessel of the Elden Ring, tasked with using its power to take control of the world and remove anyone who opposes the Golden Order. The Two Fingers, serving as guides and mouthpieces for the Greater Will, spreading its message to the Lands Between. The Greater Will, like all of the Outer Gods, had a plan for how life should be lived in the Lands Between, and it called this way of life the Golden Order. A set of rules in which life is run, made possible by the power of the Elden Ring, and one of those rules was of course no death, instead beings would be reincarnated via the Erd Tree. In exchange for getting these blessings, the Greater Will desired obedience in return, but as you would expect, not everyone wanted to adhere to this new way of life. Anything that stood in the way of the Golden Order was destroyed or driven away. The Greater Will through Marika and other influences destroyed the dragons, destroyed the giants, enslaved the misbegotten, reviled the omen, banished the Nox and cursed the Eternal Cities, and buried the entire clan of merchants alive. And for many years, Queen Marika, the vessel of the Elden Ring, Hora Lu, the first Elden Lord, and the children of Marika sought to impose the Golden Order. However, following the death of her child Godwin, and for many different reasons, Marika decided she no longer believed in the Greater Will's ideals and sought to change them forever. Marika shattered the Elden Ring with her hammer and split the different parts, which are the ruins that make up the Elden Ring. Whether the Greater Will imprisoned her or she chose to do it herself, Marika and Radagon became locked inside the Erd Tree. With Radagon and Marika being the same person, they were locked in together, despite Radagon remaining loyal to the Greater Will and his wishes to repair the Elden Ring. With the ring shattered and the pieces in the hands of the demigods, the power and influence of the Greater Will diminished in the Lands Between, some suggesting he had abandoned the entire world as mentioned in the prologue. However, as we know, this was not the case. The Elden Beast, the bodily incarnation of the Greater Will itself, put forth the call to the Tarnished, guided by the Two Fingers, to destroy all the demigods, collecting the ruins of the Elden Ring and restoring the Golden Order, and for you to become Elden Lord. Depending on how you choose to play the game, ultimately decides the fate of the Lands Between and whether or not you side with the Greater Will itself. So that is the story lore of the Greater Will, an outer god who by proxy imposed its ideas for life on the Lands Between. A plan that didn't ultimately work out, and the Greater Will's attempts to restore his plan using the player to do it. And while a lot of info is not really known about what the outer gods are and how they work, we can see their ideas and motives from their influences in the world and the universe, and it's up to you whether you agree or disagree with those ideals. In the next episode, we can go over the remaining Outer Gods. The Frenzied Flame plays the second biggest role in game, but there are six or seven other Outer Gods as well, and they all play their part in the game in one way or another. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more background lore starting with the Outer Gods to the beginning of the game, then subscribe. There are tons of videos to look forward to covering every aspect of the game. So I will see you all next time. Bye.